What's going on, everybody? Happy Monday. Every time I start this uh, exploit, I get the crazy plug-in thing popping up, so I have to close it out as I'm talking. So, a little bit late this month, but the all-exclusive 10,000 PSA 10 Club and the 20,000 PSA 10 Club. So, as you can see on the chart here, still five people in 20,000 bracket. Probably going to be a while till we get somebody new into it, especially with some of these high pop counts. But uh, Charizard, man, he's more popular than Michael Jordan out there. Look at that. 4,600 new PSA 10s. I, I forget what the overall is, but just by looking at that, it's around roughly 50,000 those cards have been graded. Uh, let's see here. As you look, you can see some of the numbers are very little for PSA 10s. And this is due to we're at the end of the backlog to where people were sending this stuff in. We'll probably see another month, maybe two months of this stuff being smaller numbers. And hopefully, knock on wood or metal, that with PSA just reopening the value... Uh, I don't really know what they're calling, 1996 and newer. People don't slam these cards like these back into it. I mean, I do got some stuff makes sense because if you're out there trying to get your flipping on, that's the new cool thing. I even put my hat backwards to say that. But if you want to get your flipping on, I mean, would you have found a base Zion? Or base even Luca rookie. I think base PSA ten Lucas are still what three four hundred dollars. Send it thirty bucks tens make some money. Yeah, and what do you get it back? Hopefully it's still worth that. I just don't see a lot of these other ones on here. Really worth to be graded. I just rather buy it already graded. Just my thought process. Heck, I remember when a Tiger Woods one was worth a lot of money. Huh. I'll just look at some of the stuff on to here. Still got three I'm keeping my eye on. If you guys got any more that are over 9,000 pop level, just let me know in the comments, email me, PM me, whatever. But trying to keep the list going each month, I think it's going to start drawing out a little bit because I don't think we're going to see... I would imagine people are not going to spend $30 a card to get a PSA 10 on a base tops or prism rookie. Of not like maybe a top three players or something. So I think a lot of it may die down. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But if you guys want to go ahead and hit pause here. That way you guys can look through the screen. I'm about to wrap this up. Quicker video today. Uh, two more videos coming out. One tomorrow. One Wednesday. I'll get one for Thursday. Friday I'm at the Midwest Monster. Not to be confused with Jacob Monster, but it's the Midwest Monster. I'll be up there around noon. I don't know how late I'll stay. I'm going to go through. I'll, I'll be value box hunting. So if you're in the area or you're up at the show, hit me up. Uh, we link up. We'll go value box hunting together. Uh, Saturday set up Newburgh, Indiana. Don't know how well the show will go since a lot of those dealers will probably be more than likely at the Midwest Monster. Um, that's how everybody keeps saying it out here. It's, it's, it's weird way everybody talks about it. It's like silent when you say Midwest and it's like monster. <laughs> it's funny. They're like, are you going to the monster this weekend? I'm like, what? It's like, they're all happy giddy. want to have their own thing, which is, you know, understandable. Uh, let's see here. That's pretty much it. So I'll try to get those show videos out probably the fall. Well, that Sunday, Monday afterwards type deal. See how much time I got in between everything. It's a long drive to Newburgh for me. Overtime will be back next Friday. Uh, I will highlight a lot that will go into a video the following a day or two afterwards on trends that I noticed as a dealer. I'm also going to use a little bit of a seller since I'm going, or a buyer since I am going to the Monster. And that's really about it. I do have Top Series 2 boxes if anybody's interested. I just haven't plugged them in. They're just a regular hobby. They're in the, uh, not in the store. But if somebody's interested, in, just hit me up. I could plug one in there real quick for somebody or just tell you to do the uh, 
what do you call it, uh, extreme bucks on there too. All right, guys, I'm out. Catch y'all later.